Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another grocery haul for you. I will tell you my meal plan and pop up some pictures. I just have a few things on my plan this week. I'm gonna be doing leftovers and easy things, but I have three new recipes I am trying. So I will pop those up here. So I'm just gonna do some taco salads and then some stuffed peppers. So I'll pop a picture up of the one I think I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna kind of look around Pinterest a little bit, but it just gave me the idea. Then I'm gonna do some Parmesan pork chops with vegetables. So what I'm gonna be doing is um, breading these with some, and actually the picture I'm gonna show you is actually chicken, but I decided to substitute pork chops for the chicken so we could all have it. Um, but I'm gonna use some pork rinds and almond flour for the breading and then sear them off in the skillet and then go ahead and put them in the oven with some vegetables. And then the other new recipe is an arroz con pollo, which I'll be using um, cauliflower rice for. And it actually asked for a few different ingredients. Two of them I had never used before. I was only able to find one of them. So the other one I'll have to look up and see if I have the right kind of spices to go with it. And then probably leftovers for the rest of the week. And then for lunches, I'm going to be doing a um, instant pot buffalo chicken meal prep bowl. I'm gonna be making a breakfast casserole and then I have a few other things for meal prep and then I'll also be doing some chicken crust pizza. So I will tell you about that when I get over to the ground chicken, I'll tell you what happened with that. And I don't know if I have a picture of anything for the ground chicken pizza because I am actually basing it off of one that I found in the store and I'm just going to recreate that. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have a couple things of shredded lettuce. I like to use these, you guys know, for um, sandwiches with my wraps and things like that. A few avocados. Cilantro is gonna be for that arroz con pollo meal. Uh, the yellow squash and the zucchini. And then I have some frozen broccoli that will be for the pork chop pan. I'll just end up putting it on a sheet pan and throwing it in the oven. Cucumbers for snacking. Tomatoes, I needed a couple for that arroz con pollo recipe and then also just for, um, you know, wraps and things like that. Romaine hearts for sandwiches. I'm also wanna make, I bought some lunch meat so I could do some lettuce wraps for lunches too. So grabbed the romaine because that makes really good lettuce wraps. And then an assortment of peppers for these stuffed peppers. So I got two green, two yellow, and two red. So I'll be using all of those for the stuffed peppers. Um, also be using cauliflower rice and that with some ground beef and I, I like I said I haven't really found the exact recipe I want to use but I will pop up what they look like. Onions for a couple of the different recipes. I have been you guys know loving the jalapeno poppers. I've been meal prepping them every week and so I got just a few more to go ahead and meal prep. I would have gotten more but their jalapenos did not look very good at Safeway. So um, but I'm going to make more of those in meal prep. If you missed how I made those, I made them in last week's meal prep. I'll probably show you again um, in Monday's meal prep too, just so you guys can see it. Celery, I've been loving this with that mixed nut butter that I got at Costco. Uh, it's also good with um, cream cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. And you guys told me I would love these and I did. So I picked up, the few, out of all the ones I picked up last week, I picked up the Fuji Apple, the Blackberry Lemonade, and the Mango Tangerine, which I thought the Mango Tangerine would be my favorite, but the Fuji Apple was by far my favorite. So I picked up three of those. And then I picked up an orange and cream. Somebody told me to pick up that one. And then I picked up a vanilla and cream. I still have um, the Blackberry Lemonade which I have tried, but um, it's still in my refrigerator. Also, I know these are not the cleanest ingredients, but you guys know I love the Premier Protein. The caramel I love in my coffee. Then I knew, heard they came out with a new flavor, the cinnamon roll flavor. So I went and picked this up. This, these are good for the weekends. And these are only two net carbs. They only have one gram of sugar. So you can see they have three total carbs, one fiber. So they're only two net carbs, no added sugar. I like to add these to my iced coffees. So I picked up some of those. Also ordered these off of Amazon. These are the cinnamon swirl nut pods. This was just a coincidence, I got two cinnamon things. Um, but these are one of my favorite nut pods. So I ordered a three pack of those. I needed some rice cauliflower. I would like to get the great value ones because it's a better deal. They're 12 ounces versus 10 ounces. And these are only $1.98, but they only had one on their shelf. So I picked up the one, but I need it for two meals. So I picked up a second one. These are $3.48, so it's such a huge difference. So definitely stock up on yours if, if your store runs out like mine does all the time. 
that a rose con pollo asked for a few different things. One of them I could not find. It was the, it said adobo seasoning. So I'm gonna look up and see what that is. They showed it on the Walmart app, but my store did not have it. So I'll have to go in and see what is in that seasoning and just recreate it myself. Mm -hmm. The other thing they asked for was chicken bouillon and then this sazon. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but I found this in the, where all like the taco shells and refried beans, things like that um, was in that aisle, but it calls for this too. So we'll see. I think you put it on the chicken. If I remember, you're like you marinated in the chicken. And I did not need to get any chicken because I have a ton of chicken thighs and chicken breasts in my freezer that I'm trying to use up. I picked up some of the white chocolate chips, the sugar-free ones. I am going to try to make a white chocolate sauce out of this to kind of recreate um, the white chocolate mocha drink from Starbucks. I thought that would be fun and I think I can do it with these white chocolate chips. So I will show you um, if I end up making them um, in meal prep, um, I will definitely show that to you. I prefer to get the Walmart brand of the bacon bits, but they were out. I like to use bacon bits on my jalapeno poppers. It's just better than wrapping them in the bacon, which is such a mess. Using these is so good and you get just as much bacon flavor. I needed just one tablespoon of tomato paste for a recipe, so I picked up the tube. I like to use the tube. Let me show you what it looks like. I like to use these if I only, if the recipe I call for doesn't call for a whole can. So I'll pick up the cans sometimes because there's sometimes recipes call for like chili. I use a whole can in chili. But when I just need a tablespoon or two, then I pick up these um, these ones. And they're, they're really, they're like under $2. And you can just, um, you know, take out however much you want. Okay, some wraps. I was almost out of wraps, although I think this week I'm going to do mostly lettuce wraps, but I just have these on hand in case I want them. This I don't usually have, but sometimes I will we'll have it on the weekends. I mostly pick it up for um, my son to use, but this is the Italian sweet cream, sugar-free, and it's it doesn't have the best ingredients, but as far as low-carb, it's definitely low-carb. It only has one net carb in it and 15 calories, so if you don't care about ingredients, it's not a bad way to go. Picked up some yogurts, two coconut two of the hibiscus and two of the black cherry. Those are by far my three favorite flavors. One of the recipes calls for milk. Uh, I cannot remember which one it would be and so I'm getting heavy, I'll do a mixture of heavy cream and half and half. So that way it's just not so heavy with the heavy cream. So I'll mix these two together and um, for that recipe, I cannot think of which one it was. And it could be one that I decided not to make or it might be the rose con pollo. I think it could be the rose con pollo. Anyway, so I, I'll be using a combination of these two, plus I like to use half and half in my coffee. Cream cheese for the jalapeno poppers, and like I said, for my celery. I really didn't need any cheese this week, but again, Safeway had another deal on this. It was like $5 with their um, app, with their coupon on their app, so I just picked it up well, because that's a really good deal. I need to get back to shredding my own cheese, but until I get to that point, <laughs> I'm just going to keep picking this up. Uh, I picked up some eggs. None of my store, it was so weird. Um, Safeway, their entire egg aisle was out. And so when I went to Walmart, theirs was too. They just had a few left. It's so weird. Walmart in general was really wiped out. So I just picked up some white eggs. I actually have um, eight of the organic happy eggs from last week left over. So um, I do have some quite a few eggs left. And this, this is the lunch meal I picked up. So I picked up some ultra thin pastrami some mesquite smoked turkey breast and some oven roasted turkey breast. Just trying to stay on a budget this week. The stuff from the deli is just really expensive. Plus when I went to Safeway to look to see what they had over there, again, they hadn't stocked up. I guess I went too early because they hadn't stocked up their entire deli section yet. Uh, and then meat. So the only meat I needed, pork chops for those pork chops, the ground beef for several of the meals, bacon just to have on hand and I picked up two of the ground chicken so I'm only going to need one of them but my Walmart has been out of this quite often lately and so I always like to keep just a backup in the freezer because I do like to use this um, but so the pizzas I saw were from Foster Farms and it was Foster Farms smart chicken in the picture I couldn't tell how big they are they were I just saw they said that for half the pizza it was four net carbs so I was picturing it to be the same size as the Quest pizzas and I had a $1.50 off coupon for them, but when I got there, they were tiny. They were probably, no, they were probably smaller than these tortillas. And so I'm like, no, for half the pizza, no way. And so I thought I could just recreate it myself because the only thing was it's just a 
ground chicken crust and so I'm gonna come I used to make a sausage pizza crust and so I think I can use that same recipe but just use the ground chicken I believe you put almond flour and eggs and I think I can get it a lot less than four net carbs using the sauce that I use and I think I'm just gonna do veggies on top so I picked up two of those and that is everything so I will have all the recipes linked down below and I will see you guys on Monday with meal prep